Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is day one of our May 2024 release. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's brand new Gnome Dyes Mermaid add-ons, their Girl Gnome Dyes, their Octagon Dyes, and this amazing Bubble Stencil. And I'm using the Make a Splash Gnome stamp set and outline dyes that are new as well. And I put, oh, and Rainbow Petite Prints Gingham Linen and Dot Stripe from Doodlebug along with the Under the Sea 6-inch pad from Doodlebug and the Seaside Summer 12-inch paper line and the odds and ends. And I put that this together on the Mermaid add-ons assembly video, so check that out. So these were all put together on that Mermaid add-ons assembly, so you can check that one out. There we go. Not sure what I'm going to use from that, but... There we go. And then this is the ink blended stencil. And if you want to watch me make that, I do that at the end of the release and review video for the May 2024 release. So check it out. So here we have a piece of paper. And this is from the Doodlebug Seaside Summer 12 inch paper line. And I use the bubble stencil with some white Hero Arts white unicorn ink. And I just cut it out using the largest octagon die. Now this is a piece of paper tray ink white cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11 and I'm scoring it at five and a half inches to make a vertical A2 sized card. There is my card and there is my largest octagon die. I'm going to cut a strip of paper that's one inch and that is from that under the sea six inch pad from uh, Doodlebug. And then I'm cutting this Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock at one and a quarter inches wide. And I'm going to add those to the inside of this card base with some ATG tape. And I'm working on a Stampin' Up pad. All my die cutting today was done with my Anna Griffin Mini Empress machine, which I'm loving. There we go. And like I said, sticking these both down with my um, ATG tape. Oops, and of course I have it on, not in the right direction. Oops, got to make sure that, the, that they're swimming the right way up. There we go. And then I'll trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. That's just an adhesive eraser, which is your best friend, right? Especially if you go over the edge with some ATG tape. There we go. Just trimming off the overhang, like I said, with a pair of scissors. I know I'm kind of close to the camera there, but you get the gist. And there we go. And this is on the outside. So I'm going to add um, a one and a quarter inch strip of that same Nina Desert Storm cardstock to the front bottom, um, like the front bottom edge of this A2 size card front. There we go. And I will trim off the overhang again with a pair of scissors. There we go. You'll notice with that bubble background, what I ended up doing was I did add some Nuvo or um, some, um, sorry, glossy accents to the, you know, to every odd bubble. And then over top of them, I used a secure white jelly roll pen to add like a, the white highlight to it. Cause you can do that over top of dried glossy accents. You don't want to do it underneath glossy accents because what ends up happening is that the glossy accents will actually eat the, um, the white jelly roll pen. So right now I'm just sort of measuring where I have to cut off. I cut another layer of that Nina Desert Storm and that's just going to keep everything level. So I'm just going to add that above my strip of paper. And then when I add my uh, under the sea background, that bubble background to my card front, that way everything will be level. There we go. And I'm just going to sort of try and keep this like even on either side. There we go. And then I will add my bubble background. I think the bubbles look fabulous um, with the glossy accents. There we go. And like I said, you can watch me do that at the end of the release and review video that will go live on Thursday, I believe, the Thursday of this release. So there we go. And isn't that fun? And like I said, the white is Hero Arts uh, Unicorn Ink, and then I used a secure white jelly roll pen as well. Okay, so I went ahead and I cut out some of the seaweed. So instead of using that little seaweed scene, I decided to do um, just 
like add some of these seaweed pieces. So these, these patterns are from that under the sea six inch pad from Doodlebug. There we go. And then this one is from the Candy Stripe and Sprinkles six inch pad from Doodlebug, which I don't think I mentioned. I think I said dot stripe, but you know, you get the gist, <laughs> honestly. Okay, so then this is this, this little piece that's also Nina Desert Storm cardstock. That's just the bottom piece of that little scenic uh, seaweed grouping that's from that brand new Gnome Dyes uh, Mermaid add-ons. Remember, you can watch the assembly video. Now, this is from Bazil Bling. And I have like an assortment pad and I just used a green Bazil Bling cardstock. And then this piece, that is from that Under the Sea six inch pad from Doodlebug. It's just like a solid coral color. And that's the coral. And I'm just going to layer that down as well. So I'm just making my own little grouping. Next, I'm going to glue this adorable little gnome down and little, um, you know, gnome mermaid down onto my background. Isn't she sweet? Look at her hair is like all kind of like floating in the water, right? Isn't that fun? There we go. And next, I'm going to be adding on a sentiment. So this says, wishing you a magical birthday. And I cut out the, um, you know, the outline die. I used it multiple times just to cut scrap cards, card stock to, you know, make this a little bit thicker. Right, so I didn't use foam tape, I just used extra layers. That's the nice thing about the sentiment outline dies. So now I'm going to have it hanging over the edge and I just wanna make sure it's flat, like it doesn't like kind of dip. So I'm just sort of measuring, there we go. And then I'll trim those last two um, at the same angle. And then that will be, you know, that'll hang over the octagon ledge and then it'll keep the sentiment nice and flat. That's what I was going for. Now my sentiment was stamped in Versafine Claire Nocturne Ink. There we go. I sort of, I stamped that for the release and review, just so, you know, I could show all the different sentiments. Okay, so there we go. Adding my little layer to the edge so everything will be nice and flat. I'm using my reverse tweezers just to hold it and try to position it where I want it. There we go. And I'm going to add that to my card front in the upper left-hand corner. And it's not fun. Just super fun. I'm just making sure everything's nice and straight. There we go. Now I'm giving her a little fork to hold that was put together on that same Gnome Dyes Mermaid Add-ons assembly video. Um, it's just Recollections Silver Mirror cardstock. And remember her skin tones are P13 stamping pad skin tones, and those are available in the Jada Blossom store. So there, she's holding her little fork, isn't that cute? Wishing you a magical birthday. You'll see that I was also using uh, Barely Art glue as well. So on the inside, I'm going to add some odds and ends from the Seaside Summer Doodlebug uh, set. And I'm adding a sentiment from that same sentiment set that I used, um, the Make It Splash Nomi. Then I'm adding on uh, some coral here and a shell. That's why I love these Doodlebug odds and ends. I just find them super fun to use and it makes your inside of your card a little bit more interesting, right? Then I'm going to add a little fish. There's the little grouping from that Seaside Summer. Now, oops, I've got this little shell too and that was cut from Coral Stardream Metallic cardstock. And I used an R11 marker, Copic marker, just to add some color to the inside part of that shell. There we go. Isn't that fun? I did put that together on the, the Gnome, Dye, Gnome Dye's Mermaid add-ons assembly video. That's a big mouthful, right? Okay, so now I'm going to add some bubbles um, that I put together on that same assembly video. Um, and th that's cut out of that same starter metallic, but I used crystal and aquamarine for the layers. I'm using a Studio Catty embellishment wand to pick them up, just because more bubbles, like the more the merrier, right? So I'm going to add a few little bubbles to this scene. And isn't this sweet? I just think this turned out great. I love the shine of the glossy accents on those bubbles. 
I'm going to add a few little um, highlights using my Sakura White Jelly Roll pen and a number 10 um, on these inside little images, because why not, right? I think it adds a little something something. And there we go. So I just think it's a super cute and easy card, right? So there we go. So I just think this is a super sweet release. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And come back and watch some more soon. Be, be sure to come back tomorrow. Bye, everybody.